Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wolong Fallen Dynasty on the Mysterious JG. I just sort of became aware in an odd way. Not that odd, I suppose. But no, I just I just realized uh, I'm playing this game on uh, the day before. It's like Chinese New Year's Eve, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I'm playing Wolong Fallen Dynasty on Chinese New Year's Eve. So happy Year of the Dragon to those who are into that sort of thing. Anyways, I have been having uh, trouble Yeah, that's the ticket. Use the uh, Use Use my knowledge <laughs> I'm Sorry, I'm sorry that was uh, Senator Palpatine there. No, I was, uh, use, use, uh, the fact that you can auto-zoom in on enemies if you're jumping at them and they haven't noticed you to get to where it must be safe to stand on that branch because an enemy is standing there. But yeah, I believe that guy, because he had killed, some, I got accolades, so he had killed somebody and some player, and that player probably just, I would assume, charged ahead and killed that tiger without noticing that an enemy was chillaxing in the tree, waiting to ambush him. Alright, now, again, I've got myself pretty disoriented here, but I believe... <sighs> Drop down, there's loot over there that I don't want to forget about. Oh, let's just grab it now so I don't forget about it. Cavalry Halberd plus seven. I don't really care. Is this going to just take me back up to where that tree was? Yes. I don't really care about this either. Part of what's disorienting me at this point um, is this, this is a fairly open area compared to how linear uh, the games feel sometimes, and uh, yeah, this is like there's so many places to go. I don't know where to go, but somewhere up here is a marker flag. So we got to find a way to get up here. Climb up there. Yeah, I was definitely feeling some kind of ambush coming there. There you go, that worked out alright. Seldom is magic that useful, but like groups of small, of like fairly slow moving enemies, uh, not a bad, uh, thing to thwart with your area of effect magic attacks. And this is actually quite simple now that uh, we just kind of went around the circle. I thought there would be like a lengthy convoluted side path here. Nah. Dual halberds of Lady Lao. I'm the ocean. You're from the ocean? Lady Lao. Dragon Cure Powder. I think, isn't that another one of the fancy fancies? No, it's the one that sounds like a fancy fancy but isn't. Which I guess I should have gathered. I, that was just kind of sitting right there in the middle of the path. It wasn't really all that hidden or anything. Alright, well now again, like, it feels like there's two different paths I could be taking. I'm not sure which one is progress and which one is a side path. But I guess they could both be, they, they probably join at some point in the near future. Hopefully that weakens somebody. Uh. 
fire will not be particularly useful against that fire guy. But at the same time... Uh... Can we... Do we actually lower their... Uh, I thought there was some mechanic where if I... Sneak attack... Yan Liang? Wen Cho? Uh, let's see. Uh, to think that I, who have achieved so much under General Yuan, rising to the very tippity tippity top of Great Army, should find myself lower in the pecking order than some Taoist who turned up out of nowhere. I have no choice but to obtain the elixir's power for myself. Then I'll show my worth as the first rate general by turning Baima into a sea of corpses. It's kind of messed up, dude. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Come on. A sea of corpses? I guess they just stick at their level. Like, I thought... I had this notion that you lowered their level by sneaking up on them. Or that like, their allies were weakened. Like there's there was something I explained a long time ago about These guys with the red icons. Oh, Guan Yu's sh chatting away. Task. Yeah, I thought so. I avenge all. You guys avenge I got a decorative knot. And most importantly of all, Meowth, that's right. Is he talking about the battle that we just had and he's confused? <laughs> I think that might be the case. Oh. Uh, there's either a mid-boss ahead, or there's a big chunk of map we haven't explored, and we somehow found our way to the exit. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going in there until I'm pretty sure we've explored everything there is to explore, but it feels unlikely we've missed four different main flags, but... <laughs> And again, oh yeah, we got we read Yan Liang's diary, so like maybe this is a maybe they were gonna have like Yan Liang and Wen Cho, excuse me, as two separate uh, mini bosses to fight along the way. <clears throat> In which case, a <coughs> excuse me, a map full of like gates and uh, fortifications and stuff would be perfectly designed to allow for that I feel like I got over here I yeah, see yeah I think we were we were kind of wandering around over here and didn't go ahead now I'm thinking does this circle around to the same place from a different direction? Or is the path up here just going to end? Oh. Well, the, uh, the, door, the flag that we hit, you know, the first time you hit it, doesn't respawn enemies. It's only uh, subsequent visits. So, okay, yeah, we, uh, we've we've actually cleared this area like there might be little nooks and crannies we've missed but I'm pretty confident that we didn't just miss four main save flags and a marking flag so probably we're meant to open this gate and continue on Go 
she has disappeared. This would be Yan Leong, I would imagine. Demon Yan Leong. Oh, or Guan Yu just going to kill him without a fight from us? Because in the novel, he just kills Yan Leong and Wen Show. So that might be what this is. Or is it Wan Leong, Yan Leong and Wen Show together? And the reason I didn't realize it is because I only found one of their two journals. Yeah, I think this is going to be like a tag team match. Just don't tell me you're going to riot. Like, one of you's going to riot the other. That would get weird. You are no worthy opponent. With the power of Elixir, get ready to face your end. What is Wan Li Yan Liang and Wen Cho, anyway? I was correct about that. I would agree. Let's just finish off Yan Liang. Well, we're not brothers. We're, we're just kind of work for the same guy. The enemy is attempting to rally. Brace yourself. Oh, did Wen Cho just bring Yan Liang back? I think he did. Meanwhile, I have yet to get in trouble. My allies, too. Maybe we have to take them both down at this, like, within a set period of time. They automatically revive each other. It is time to deal the final blow. A magnificent victory. You have a prowess for battle that any warrior would desire. Cool beans. Duke Quake of Griffin Hammer and Qu the Gryffindor Hammer we've achieved. That's nice. Magnificent. Hmm. Now we've taken Baima back. Oh, hey. It's that guy that dresses like me. It's spring. That's me talking about Tata, of course. A fine season to set out on a journey. Maybe I'll go on a journey. Stroke that beard, Guan Yu. <laughs> yep. In Yan Jin. Some are saying that Chin Long descended from heaven. Chin Long? And that he has been imprisoned by a human. Oh yeah, so, uh, they, this guy has been making fun of my gameplay. It's also all over my pronunciation <laughs> of Q in Chinese. Why not visit this rumored location and find out what is going on? Holmes. <laughs> we brought the horse that was tethered in the stable. Our red hair. Hey, are you a member of the Heavenly Bodies? You have these ridiculous angel wings. Oh, those are mine. They're Li. It travels a thousand Li. I don't even know if a Li is a mile. Shorter, master? Don't really know. Or longer? Master. Well, this game doesn't have horse riding, so I assume it's going to be Guan Yu and not us that gets it. Is this, is this it? Is maybe I just, maybe I were replaying this level because I missed a bunch of shit. <laughs> This horse didn't stab me with its super unicorn thing at all. It seems there was nothing to worry about. I should have expected nothing less. I love you, Guan Just Yu. Just a small gift. You may set out on your journey now, Yun Chang. Don't call me that. Where's My name's Guan Yu. I, Guan Yu, shall repay this favor someday. I thought it was Guan Yu. Now it's Guan Yu. Well, I guess I lost him as an ally, but the level's not over. Maybe. I hear Yanjin Fort is already a den of demons. Oh, is that what you heard, is it? Will you lend Yunjiang your aid? Hmm. Oh, wow, I do have dialogue. My dialogue is, hmm. Come on, tell me the level's not over. Tell me the level's not over. Tell me the level's not over. I don't want to, I don't want to have to replay a whole level, but I also... Really? Okay. I think the level's still actually on. 
Hey, it's Zhang Fei. Huh. What up, gangster? Uh. So, you're alive. Oh. You went over the Cao Cao! I can see that Cao Cao's with you. It says that he's blonde now. I know where our brother is. He's been turned into a demon, probably. Because that seems like the kind of boss fight this game would have. Where we'd fight Demon Lee Obey and turn him back. Knock it off, you two knuckleheads. I am no liar. By the Azure Dragon Crescent Clave, I swear it. Yeah, well, I got the Serpent Head Halberd. It's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, we're just taking over for Liu Bei. Yeah, this is the kind of shit Shang Fei would not tolerate, actually. What can I say? I believe you then. Liu Bu called Liu Bei little brother at one point, and Shang Fei, like, lost his shit. The idea that some blonde dressed Cao Cao shows up and tries to become the new brother. <laughs> I don't think he would go for that. Well, now again, I'm like, okay, so is the level continuing? Come on now, tell me the level's continuing. I, I, I couldn't have missed that many flags. Because if it's if because if I did, I got to replay all that stuff. Just because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to at least get all the flags. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be too worried about it because it was an easy boss fight. So it's not like I would sweat replaying the level, but I would feel a little silly. Maybe I should just be pleased if the game uh, continues at all and it hasn't just crashed. <laughs> Like, maybe I should just take that as a win. Because, uh... The PS5 seems to have died. <laughs> okay. Oh, Yide is... Uh, not only are we back in this level, but, uh... Yide hasn't even kicked uh, Tsao Tsao out. Oh, we, we can mount a horse in this. Well, that's new. I wonder if mounting a horse just takes us back to the... First half of the level. You have to be positioned very specifically before it lets you do it. Okay. Yeah, it's a fast travel technique to get you back to the... So they put these two... They, so they had two little short levels that they decided to go better together. So it's nice that the Sworn Brothers are reunited, but uh, it's also nice that I'm being allowed to... <laughs> Guoji had covered in blood. So is Guan Yu, but it's a little less noticeable because he's not worried about. Like I was like, oh, Guoji has got an interesting pattern. It's oh, it's blood splatter. Wonder if uh, Yuan had senior general. Pride of the Indomitable Champion. All right, so these two jerks both have... Uh... I really wish there was a way that you could set it. Pair of Swords of Aspiration. You may cheer. She's unique and masterfully crafted pair of swords. I really wish there was a way to um, I don't know if we got the full Lu Bu set, you know. I don't think you can set the uh, settings on turning in stuff that uh, set items aren't automatically turned in. So let's just grab grab a few of these items that are for brand new sets and at some point I'll have to go and uh, the head senior general gives you spirit gain, spirit deflect, fervor, bond deflection, curved saber. And, uh... The 
Pride of the Indomitable Champion, which would appear to be Wen Cho's set. Yeah, so they make you fight that. Yeah, so you, they. Well, I guess once you've beaten them, maybe they start dropping. Or is it. Oh, no. It's. I, I'm not sure. Because it feels like once you gain, like, a Brotherhood Oath with a character that you can use as an ally, their equipment starts dropping. Like, they give you a set of it, and then it starts becoming a random drop, too. But I also feel like we started getting lots and lots of drops of, um... Oh, what's his name? The the guy that you kill at Hulao Gate uh, that isn't Lubu. Like, the guy we kill, the mid-boss of the Lubu level. Yeah, like, his stuff started dropping from enemies other than him once we'd beaten him once, so... But anyway, the, uh, this is Hammer Spirit, like, Damage Received, Guard, Power Drop on Enemies, Hammer Spirit. I don't think I care about either of these sets, but I like the idea of having one of each set. Like, I could switch to these different sets if I wanted to. That's how I always did it in the, in the Neo games. I would try to hold on to each set, even the ones I was pretty sure I was never going to use. And at the beginning, I was keeping, like, you know, one of each armor type, and eventually I was keeping just the armor type that formed uh, unique sets and then there came a point where even that was kind of getting to well and then i realized there's a storehouse which i guess this game has too but but you can put way too much time and energy into inventory management if uh if you allow yourself to So I'm not sure who our, uh, if we now we've killed Yan Liang and Wen Cho, who were... These were not characters who had, like, dialogue and personalities in the novel. They were they were mentioned as being uh, Yuan Shao's top generals, uh, and they're really only named and made a point of because it was to build up Guan Yu as this badass when he defeated them both. But they do tend to pop up in the Dynasty Wars. Survival requires that one sacrifice compassion. Okay, thanks for, uh, thanks for sharing, uh, Guajia. I guess it's nice that you had, uh, something to say, since you're not really a part of this level, but, uh, they give you some dialogue that you just throw in randomly, which is, it's nice. It enhances the feeling that you're actually here. <laughs> Good job, Gujia. All right. Well, one thing this game, or, well, we had tigers, I suppose, but uh, let's say we might be starting to see more demons now. Ah, that's not. You know what? We had, we had uh, these revenant type zombie enemies. Just not a. Uh, I, I guess now that we're at a different Yuan Shao fortress. What was what is spurning me to say the enemies have changed is the fact that there's now a hedgehog. <laughs> Alright, well at least my friends got over there, so they should be able to deal with this threat since I couldn't do it. Yeah, having AI allies is oh, so much more chill because, like, failing, like, you know, I, I wasn't even stressing, but, like, what I just did there, running jump to try to get up here to where these guys were and then failing, it, that would have been so much. I know I keep comparing the games, but it's the same development team. It's obvious that it's the same kind of spirit because we've got uh, Anjin san here as a uh, default face, but, um,. That would have been so bad in Neo. You would have had, like, two enemies alerted to your presence, like, that would have jumped and surprised you because you failed in your efforts to get them. In this game, it's like, nah, your allies actually make the jump even after you fail. I like that we just had a, uh, a murder hedgehog in here waiting to get us. This <laughs> is like... They make this uh, loot visible through the through the window to lure you in, and then a hedgehog. Well, I would have to assume set that loot up uh, as a trick trap, <laughs> uh, trying to murder you when you come for it. What you gonna do when they come for loot? Boom, 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 boom. 
What you gonna do when they come for loot? Loot, loot, Booyaka, booyaka, murder, hedgehog. <laughs> Ray Mysterio's theme as it was meant to be heard. Sung by me and changed to be about hedgehogs. I mean, honestly, like, I keep talking about the differences between this game and Neo. The big key difference between this game and Neo is that you can jump. And, uh, that just allows for... Like, they'd have to they'd have to really go out of their way to design maps where you can't ever find ways to ambush the enemy. Neo didn't give you anywhere near as many, like, ambush the enemy without having to fight them. Like, there were some. It's cool, Shiva. You'll be joining us soon. But yeah, but this game is like all about, for me at least, skipping around. Oh, hey, it's uh, one of them uh, ether wells. We can take that out, and I'll only be about uh, 10 skill points behind Grimmeth's Zerf and Lethal and Enshrouded. It'll be great. I can see what he's saying about this place being creepy, though. It feels like there's something going on with this bloody demonic mass hanging from the ceiling. Could that really have been all that was about? Is it introducing a new mechanic where uh, blood sacks will be on the ceiling and turn into enemies and we have to keep an eye out for them? We've also got a bunch of these statue guys that are not turning out to be... Whoa! That was almost bad. I'm thinking for right now that that's death and not a watery. I hate it when my premonitions are right. No regular statue would exude such a dubious air. This thing stinks. I didn't even hit it. I just deflected and allowed Guan Yu to finish the job. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a death trap. This was hidden ish. Got plenty of uh, rank 9 steel. I can't remember if that's what we need or if that's if we've already got our stuff. Grave robbers have dirtied their filthy hands once more, it would seem. Disgusting filth. Man, those guys suck. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video here, folks. When we come back next time. Grave robbers have dirtied their hands, but uh, we are going to dirty our blades with the blood of statues. <laughs> See you next time.